if you're here today, after you establish a strong belief system, you've got to fortify your faith. All right. You got to fortify your faith. What does that mean? When we fortify a thing, it means we strengthen with defensive works as if to protect against an attack. I didn't come to tell you this morning that what your faith system will do for you or your belief system will do for you is prevent the devil from showing up at your house. I didn't come to tell you that when you've got a strong faith system that storms will no longer hit your house. What I'm coming to tell you is that when storms hit your house, you've got an assurance that on the inside of you that says that the promise of God is still yes and amen. I don't care if it's raining outside. I don't care if the shingles are blowing off the house. It doesn't matter that there are situations that's rocking us to the foundation of our court. What the Bible says concerning you is established no matter what's coming against you. And so you've got to have a steadfast determination to not let anything shake your faith. And so in order to see to it that your faith is not shaking, you've got to fortify it in the word of God. Amen. Jude tells us to contend, fight for your faith. All right. See, you got to understand that everything that is happening in your life that is coming against you has a purpose to take your faith. Has a purpose to shape your faith. Has a purpose to, to, to change what you believe. To change what you say concerning your, your life. But this is what God has taught me. We can pray for God to move in a certain way and then it seems like the harder we pray, the more the circumstances are moving towards that negative that we are trying so hard to get turned around. But do you know the nugget of wisdom that the Lord has taught me about praying like that? He says that, well, perhaps when it looks like the situation is getting worse, I just need you to make your neck large. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. See, because what you've been praying was to catch this little fish. And the reason there's so many things that's coming against what you're praying for is because I put something bigger on the inside of you to make an impact in a much larger domain than what you're doing right now. And so if the thing that you're praying for is not working for you, I just need you to make your neck bigger. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. 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 We pray for our loved ones to be delivered. We pray for our loved ones to be set free. And so the more we pray for them to put up the alcohol and to put up the drugs, it's like the more and more people have given them access to that stuff. So what do you mean, Pastor, by making the net bigger? Well, I'll tell you. You started out praying for the loved one, but because they got greater access, there's just more people for you to pray for. Pray for every dope dealer. Pray for every bootlegger. Pray for every because that's where the access is is where you need to be praying. Yes. 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 Now it's not about Come on. my kid folks. Come on. That's about your supplier. Come on. I don't want just you to be saved. I want everybody on the street saved. Yes. I don't want just you delivered. I want everybody you get your stuff from to get set free. I don't want it just to be you that the chains is falling off. I want everybody to hang with to get the chains to break off of them. I don't want just you to be healed. But I that you in contact with on a day to day basis that's sitting around saying it can't get better. I'm gonna make my neck bigger so that you can breathe them when you come. He taught me that when my children were teenagers. I could pray for them and, and I could be that mama. No, you can't go with her because she blah 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 blah. Or I say, tell her, come by here and pick you up. Uh -huh. yeah. I tell him to come get you. Yeah. Now all y'all come sit in the den for a minute. That's right.